media is such a powerful tool especially with the evolution of technology there's no denying it i mean look at the metaverse that's what we've been dreaming about since we were kids right and with the growing evolution of media it is super important to stay aware of everything that is informing persuading or entertaining us media literacy has never been more important than right now as we saw in the previous chapter a lot of people enjoy disrupting inciting violence and ultimately causing emotional reactions in people for no particular reason the web can really be a terrible hostile place sometimes especially when it comes to hate speech and propaganda <laughs> you remember the saying sticks and stones may break my bones but words will never hurt me yeah that's not entirely true with the type of hate speech we encounter here in sri lanka hate speech in sri lanka makes a point of dehumanizing entire communities fueling violence and inciting illogical hatred and discrimination i mean hate speech is nothing new but it continuously poses a great threat to democracy and human rights hate speech can be directed at groups of people by skin color or religion sex weight or even appearance sometimes it is used against entire nations or ethnic groups within a nation but the boundary between hate speech and freedom of speech is not always simple to identify Freedom of speech is protected by Article 14A of the Constitution stating every citizen is entitled to the freedom of speech and expression including publication. You see, freedom of speech is a fundamental right guaranteed under the Constitution, but it is not an absolute right and in certain situations it can be restricted by the state. Article 15A states that Article 14A can be subject to such restrictions as may be prescribed by law in the interests of racial and religious harmony for example after the easter sunday attacks all social media platforms were blocked the government restricted our freedom of speech in order to maintain religious harmony and avoid any further conflict based on religion what i would like to ask the people is to give the security forces all their support and ensure that there is no miscommunication which leads to other incident and we are prepared to take all measures necessary to ensure that terrorism is contained and wiped out in this country be able to express our opinions is vital for a democracy to function so how can we tell the difference between a strong opinion and a hate speech let's take this tweet for example i hated the new marvel now that's a strong opinion but it's not hate speech why because the message is not inciting violence or insulting someone of their beliefs now if the tweet had been I hate the new Marvel movie. Anybody who dresses up as superheroes is an who doesn't know that cosplay can be done better, right? By a oh, oh, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Because of their own personal opinion, they are making a generalization about Marvel fans. If someone uses offensive language and stereotypes and is inciting violence against someone or a group, you know that is hate speech. And this is particularly true online where hate speech has spread across many platforms from Facebook to WhatsApp. You see, when you combine hate speech, trolls, bots and social media networks, it can amplify the threat of violence. This can make online spaces incredibly hostile and ultimately reduce our freedom of speech due to the fear of being harassed. What you say and how you say it, it matters. Hate speech is not limited to bots, trolls and individuals. It can also bleed into news media. You will of course find biased journalists who might reproduce hate speech and it is our responsibility to apply our media literacy skills in identifying the true reason behind the message and report it if needed you see hate speech or hate crimes send a message that that particular group of people is unsafe and unwelcome one message comment or action can avalanche into an absolute disaster and some people or institutions know very well how to use this to their advantage If you see others spreading unacceptable content on social media, don't ignore it. You have the power to challenge hate speech. 
don't listen to it or fuel it. Always report it. Thank <laughs> you.